we know that there are about 400 Section 95 cooperatives that are ending their agreements. They have their mortgages almost paid down. At the same time, their buildings have aged, and even the ones that have managed well, kept proper reserves, and run their businesses uh, effectively, are now finding that they don't have the capacity to pay for all the repairs that are needed. We approached Alterna Savings in Toronto, which is a large credit union, and asked them to represent Canada's credit unions in designing a mortgage product that would work for housing cooperatives. And we looked for a co-op that we could use as a pilot project to see if it worked on the ground. This property is near or a little over 30 years old, constructed in the very early 80s. So, of course, the building components are going to show wear and tear, so that means it's going to need some TLC. Change needs to happen, and I think um, for these houses, they're, they're older, and I think it's due for change. It's a great community. We want to keep it that way, but the homes do need a little bit of work. CHF Canada has been very supportive uh, and a great resource. Get them in the conversation and say, hey, we need to have a hard look at our, at our co-op and we need to know what we're going to do. I, I found that CHF was uh, very involved right from the beginning and, and gave uh, great advice and great information. We're helping the co-op do what it wants to do. The co-op, though, is always in the driver's seat. You need to have a building condition assessment that tells you what your property looks like now, what it's going to look like 20 years down the road, what you have to fix now, next year, later on, and what it's going to cost. You rely on the, the professional expertise of someone that's schooled and trained in the whole science of buildings. So they'll call in an engineer. As a building consultant, we review the, the design, we do the on-site assessment. From there, we determine the priority of all the repair work. Structurally, Montreal is in reasonable good condition, except the wear and tear is on the foundation wall. And they have uh, quite a lot of um, excessive heat loss through the siding system. So as part of the renovation, is, um, we are going to insulate um, the siding. Our roadways, our walkways, the driveway is showing its age. So that is part of uh, the retrofit uh, program to uh, repay for the roadway and the unit driveways. Start with education. You need to know what position, what financial position are you in now? I would do the analysis. I would come back to the board, present the findings and recommendations. And then with the board, you go through a, a process to say, uh, are we comfortable with that? A lot of people rightly think that we're done with the mortgage and let's not do it again. But on the other side, the buildings do need large repairs and, and for that it's a, it's, it's a natural. Get a loan, repay it and continue. The membership, they understood uh, quite well that, uh, that this was necessary. We need the repairs, we don't have the finances, this way we have the finances. People see the good part of it now. If we do that, then we're not going to have to um, up the housing charges and people that are living here really can't afford to do that. We were pleasantly surprised and quite happy when the members of Mondragon voted unanimously to go forward with the arrangement with the credit union. What we were able to do was to be able to fit the new loan within their existing mortgage payment. So the mortgage payment doesn't change and if housing charges are driven up it won't be because the cooperative has more debt. One of the most meaningful things to me about this process was the moment where Mondragon realized that instead of sitting with a bunch of people who were trying to sell them a mortgage, they were sitting with two organizations that they owned that existed to serve their needs that were trying to find a way to help them do what it was they wanted to do. Yeah, the next step is just cementing all the details on paper. Having, having everything signed, a schedule of transfer of funds, and construction. I think that a, a lot of other co-ops, once this gets going and they can see what it's given us, maybe they will be able to join as well. It's the co-op situation that drives the deal. And that's for part two. Yes. Yeah.